Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to read Magic Bone Go Fetch by Nancy Krulik. This is a chapter book. It doesn't have many pictures, so I'm just going to project the front cover. Chapter 1. Throw the ball, Josh, I bark. Throw the ball. My two-legged Josh is holding the ball in his paw. He looks straight ahead and gets ready to throw. My tail is wagging back and forth. It loves playing fetch. My paws are bouncing up and down. They love playing fetch too. Throw the ball, I bark. Throw the ball. Josh doesn't speak dog, but I think he knows what I'm saying because he throws the ball. I got it, I got it. I bark excitedly, my paws running after the ball. Faster, faster, fastest. Fur flies into my eyes. It's hard for me to see, but my paws keep running. Fast, faster, crash, ouch. I bang into a tree in my yard. Stupid tree, stupid fur in my eyes. I look up and I see a girl two leg. She's standing by the, my tree holding the ball in her paw. My ball. Who is this two leg? And why did she catch my ball? Now she's throwing my ball in the air. Yay! The girl two leg wants to play. I got it! I got it! I bark. My paws ball bounce up high in the air. My mouth open wide. I got it! I bark again. Chomp. I grab the ball in my mouth. I run over to Josh and drop it at his feet. Josh picks up the ball. He shakes his head and says, No, Sparky, no. Sparky, no? I've heard those words before. But usually when it's when I grab some food from the table or drink from the big bite white water bowl and Josh uses when he has to make a yellow puddle. Josh never tells me no when we're playing fetch until now. Josh throws the ball to the girl too late. She fetch it and throws the ball back to him. No one is letting me fetch the ball. No fair. I watch as the ball go back and forth between Josh and the two-legged girl. Finally, Josh drops the ball on the ground. My tail picks it up. My ears start drooping. My paws start boing. Anything on the ground is mine. That's the rule. Wiggle, waggle, woohoo! It's my turn to play with Josh. I fetch the ball and start to run. But before I can reach him, Josh and the girl leave the yard. Then I hear a loud noise. It's Josh's big metal machine with four round paws. The machine sounds like it's going away, but that's okay. I can play fetch by myself. I spit the ball out of my mouth. It doesn't go very far. This game is a fetch isn't any fun. What now? I know. I race over to Josh's flower bed and start diggity dig digging. Diggity dig dig diggity dig. Wow! It's a bone. A bright, beautiful, sparky bone. Sniff, sniff, sniff. It smells so good. Like chicken, beef, and sausages all rolled into one. Hello, bone. I bark excitedly. The bone doesn't bark back. Bones don't bark. This bone smells so meaty. I just have to bite it. Chomp. Wiggle, waggle, woo, I feel dizzy. Like my insides are spinning all around, but my outsides are standing still. Stars are twinkling in front of my eyes, even though it's daytime. All around me, I smell food, fried chicken, salmon, roast beef, but there isn't any food in sight. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Chapter two. The kabooming stops. I look around. I'm definitely not in my yard anymore. I'm in a big park. It's full of trees and two legs. And there's a gigantic water bowl running right through it. What's going on? How did I get here? Wait a minute. I know how I got here. The bone. It can boom me too. Well, wherever I am. It isn't just any bone. It is a magic bone. I've taken bites out of it before, and every time, I ended up somewhere else. Like the day my magic bone took me to London, and I ate chips, which are really fries. Or the time it kaboomed me to Hawaii, and I ate shaved ice. And the time my magic bone sent me to Rome, and I ate meatballs, 
which were almost as yummy, yum, yum, as the cheese I ate when I came boom all the way to Switzerland. I wonder what food I will find here. I wonder where here is. Rumble, rumble, grumble. My tummy is hungry. I can tell because I speak tummy. Rumble, rumble, grumble means feed me. But first, I have to bury my bone in a safe place. This is the only thing that can kaboom me back to Josh's yard when I want to go home. That is, if I decide I want to go home. I'm not sure Josh needs me anymore. He has a new friend now. He plays fetch with her, and he takes her for rides in his metal machine with the four round paws. I wonder if she likes sticking her head out the window like I do. I spot a tree with lots and lots of flowers and branches. I bury my bone right near the tree. That way, I can find my hiding spot when it's time to dig up my bone and go home. If I go home. I start diggity dig dig. Dirt flies everywhere. I've made a big hole. I drop my bone in and push the dirt right back over it. Now, my bone is completely hidden. No one will ever find it. Except me, of course. Wow! All that diggity dig digging has tired me out. I sure would like to curl up on Josh's lap and take a nap. But Josh went away and took his lap with him. Still, there's plenty of two legs around here. Maybe one of them would like to have a sheepdog puppy curl up on his lap. Aha! There's a very tall two-leg sitting in a chair inside the big white building. His lap looks huge. I run to the building. I dash up the stairs. Two legs leap to the side as I climb the stairs. They don't want to get in my way. What nice two legs. Up, up. Uh-oh. That sure is a big two legs sitting in a chair. I don't know if I could jump all the way up into his lap. But I'm going to try. Boing, boing. My paws bounce up and down as I try to jump high enough to reach the tall two legs lap. I can't. So, I'm just going to curl up at his feet. Maybe he will bend down and pet me, like Josh does when I curl up at his feet. Ah, the floor feels so cool against my belly. Okay, big two-leg, I bark. Pet me. But the two-leg doesn't bend down to stroke my fur. He doesn't move at all. That's when I realize that the giant two-leg isn't a real two-leg. He's a statue. I know all about statues. I saw lots of them when I was in Rome. Statues are like two legs, but they're made of stone. Still, there are plenty of real live two legs around here, and they're all pointing at me and yelling. I don't like when two legs yell at me. It's loud and scary. Quickly, I run down to the big white stairs. Suddenly, a two leg runs toward me. He looks angry. What if it's a dog catcher? They grab dogs and put them in the pound. I know. I got thrown in a pound in London. There was no dirt to dig up and no windows. I don't want to go to the pound ever again. Run faster, I tell my paws. My paws zoom, zoom, zoom until finally they stop behind a big green bush. Phew! There are no two legs around here anywhere. I don't have to be scared anymore. There's no one hiding here in the bushes but me. Ha choo! Uh oh. What was that? Ha choo! Someone's coming. Someone I don't know. Someone who might not like dogs. I've got to find a better place to hide. And quickly.